In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up an AI agent to generate you unlimited content ideas to grow your business or your personal brand. Now, one of the best ways to actually land clients or acquire new customers is providing loads of free value into the marketplace. And one of the easiest ways to provide loads of value is through posting content. So after this video is over, you will no longer have to sit down and brainstorm for hours on end trying to come up with a couple content ideas for you to post. Instead, you can just come over to this agent, have a quick chat, and leave with loads of great content ideas. So in order to get started building this agent, we actually need to come over to a website called N8N. Once you log into your account, you'll be brought to this home overview page, where in the top right, we can actually select create a new workflow, and we'll be brought to an open editor where we can start creating this agent. So the first step we need to add is actually a Telegram connection so we can interact with this agent via Telegram, which is a messenger similar to WhatsApp. So in order to do this, you need to actually create a Telegram account. And I have downloaded the app on my Mac here where we can start a conversation with what is called Botfather. It's a little weird name, but uh, it's the username is at Botfather. You can start a conversation and then do forward slash new, like it says here and then you'll do slash new bot and then it walks you through the naming process and then finally it gives you the link to actually start messaging this bot and then it gives you the a uh, api key to actually connect this bot into nan so you're going to want to copy this api key and then we can go in back into nan select add a first step we can type in telegram and then we're going to do the trigger is going to be on a message. And then here is where you can connect, uh, actually connect your Telegram account. You know, this so you just paste in the API key that you just got there. And then we can just leave everything else here the same. So what this does is it starts this workflow whenever the bot receives a new message inside of Telegram. And now we can add another step. And then this is where we're actually going to start adding the AI agent. This workflow is going to be comprised of two AI agents. And you'll see kind of how I break up this workflow in just a minute. So to add our first agent, we're going to select this plus icon here. And then we're going to select advanced AI. And then do AI agent right here. So we're going to leave it as a tools agent. And then we're going to actually define this below which allows us to specify a prompt here and then we actually are going to add an option under here and we're going to add a system message so like i said earlier one of the best ways to actually land more clients or acquire more customers is through providing uh, free value one of the best ways to provide free value is actually understanding your ideal client or ideal customer's pain points and the problems that they experience that your product or service uh, satisfies or um, basically solves those problems that they already have. So what we need to do in this first AI agent is we're actually gonna come up with a list of those pain points or those problems that they already experienced that we're gonna be later solving. So I'm gonna go up to the top here and just rename this uh, pain point ideas now this is just for us uh, optional you don't have to do this but it just appears out here so we can actually know what this agent is doing if you're coming back and editing this later so as far as this prompt goes I have written it down in here I'm going to copy this first uh, pain points prompt so I'm actually going to paste this prompt into this text uh, section here and just for this, uh, the sake of this video, I'm going to be pretending that I'm making content for an online fitness coach. So you can see here, I say list all the problems you face or the pain points you have when it comes to actually, you know, fitness, getting in shape, things like that. And then of this list, please prioritize the following pain points. Uh, and then we're going to give it the input from the chat. So whenever we send a message, we're going to ask it to prioritize whatever topic we're giving it inside of here. So you can actually specify the uh, topic that you'd like the content about, or you could just type something like, give me content ideas, and it will just list general content ideas around your industry. 
And then this system message prompt here is actually very important inside of these two agents. So I've actually come over to ChatGPT and had it generate uh, two different system prompts. This first one is acting as if I just had it make me a fake uh, ICP or ideal client profile or ideal customer profile. So I'll come over here and copy this and we'll kind of go through it just really quickly. So it's saying you are now acting as my ideal client for my online fitness coach. It describes who my ideal client is. So a busy tech savvy professional in your mid thirties, uh, committed to health, but you have a uh, pretty busy schedule. So here it lists the demographics, you know, 35 mid-level corporate employee demanding schedule kind of skim through the rest of this but it's just describing who I'm trying to sell my services to and then we can go back to N8N and we're actually going to paste this system message into the appropriate field here so the system message just tells the AI agent here like how to go about actually uh, answering this prompt and then for this text block here, we're actually prompting the agent. We need to make sure that this is set to expression. You can see that we are plugging in the variable that represents the previous chat message here. You can see it's just listed as plain text, but if we click expression, you can see it turns gray. And that's what we want because we want this variable to actually change and the message that we are sending to be plugged into this variable. So in order to make sure that this variable is actually uh, working effectively, we can click out of this agent and then we're actually going to add a chat model here. And then I'm just going to type open AI. And then here is where you actually need to connect your open AI account. In order to do that, you can just look up open AI API. And then you can click on this first link and it should take you to a page like this you might have to log in uh, but we want to go to the top row here and select dashboard come over to the left column and select api keys and then you can come up to the top right and select create new api key you want to write this api key down somewhere don't share it it should be private but we can go back into n8n and paste that api key into here and it will actually create or connect your OpenAI account and allow you to use the OpenAI models like ChatGPT. So we're just going to leave this set to 40 mini, click out, and then we can go back into our agent and select execute previous nodes. And then I believe we should be able to send a message to our bot. And then you can see here, it gives us all the information from that message. You can see the message itself here is listed as a text. And then we actually need to drag in that message instead of this JSON.chat input. So we can drag this into there. You can see this is JSON.message.text. You can see it turns green. And then we can click out of our agent and go back to continue editing. So after we have that list of pain points, we need to actually create the content ideas, which we can do by selecting this plus, going into advanced AI and selecting another AI agent. We do the same thing, we're gonna leave it set to tools and we're gonna define the prompts below. And again, I'm gonna copy the prompt that I have here. and then quickly go over what this prompt is saying. So what I did was just opened the prompt into a bigger screen here. So this prompt is just saying to generate content ideas about the following topic. So in order to get that topic into here, go down a little bit, we are going to 
drag in the telegram trigger. So this is the first trigger where we're sending the initial message to this agent. We're going to drag in that same text block into here. And that is the topic that we're entering into this agent. So we're saying generate content ideas about the topic that we just entered. And it should also relate to the pain points listed below. Now I'm going to talk about this section later. I'll come back to this. And then we also need to say that your response should always be less than 3000 characters. This is just has to do with the limit of the length of the message that you can actually send in Telegram. So sometimes the agent will res try to respond in Telegram with a lo super long response and it will cause this workflow to fail. So 3000 just gives it plenty of room where it kind of guesses and it usually goes over a little bit. But we want to make sure that it's set low enough that we never, uh, the workflow never fails. And we give the agent plenty of room to go a little bit over this limit here. And then lastly, we're going to define the pain points. So this is the response from this pain point ideas agent here. So we can click out of this. We see, we can't get it yet. We need to actually run that agent and click out of here and then execute. I believe we have to test this again. Just send a random message into Telegram. So you can see now we have the input from the Telegram message and then from the previous agent that we just made. So I'm going to open this up bigger again so we can see. And then we can list the pain points which is coming from the output of the previous agent. So we can just drag that into here. So then now we are giving this second agent access to the topic sent from us, the user, through Telegram. And then we are giving it the pain points which are generated from the first agent here. So once we finish that prompt, we can click out and then we need to add a system message. So this agent, we are in this example as an online fitness coach, we are telling it to act as if it is an expert online fitness coach. So it has all the information that we theoretically would have when going about brainstorming content ideas. So it's solving these problems as if it is an online fitness coach and then making content ideas to solve those problems and solve those problems in a way that relates to this topic. So the system message, I again got, I told ChatGPT to uh, basically make this system message as if it's an online fitness coach who gets clients uh, via inbound clients through Instagram. So copy this and then I'll go over it briefly what this prompt is actually saying so it says you're an experienced online fitness coach well-established presence on Instagram uh, gets clients via inbound uh, expertise in creating uh, content And then it gives it uh, a list of the types of content that it actually posts. So actionable tips and advice uh, addresses common challenges like time management, motivation, things like that. And then it leverages, uh, gives it the type of content it should be posting. So stories, reels, carousel posts, uh, all the different uh, posts available on that specific platform. And then it tells it to uh, basically frame the content as an authority in this space, which is also important when creating trust for your followers or viewers to actually later assign them as a customer or a client and then or a customer. So now that we're actually done uh, giving it this second agent the prompt and the system message, uh, I'm going to quickly rename this just so we know what this agent is actually doing. This is generating content ideas. 
again, this rename is just for ourselves when we're actually editing this workflow. It doesn't affect the way that it runs or anything. And then we need to add another chat model here. And then your account should already be connected. We can just leave everything else here the same. We can drag this over here. What we can do after we have both of these agents set up is we need to add the option to send a message back to Telegram so we can see it inside of Telegram. So to do that, we're just gonna click this plus right here, type Telegram, scroll down to send a message. And then we're gonna select execute the previous nodes so we can get some of these variables. So now this input column has been filled in and the text that we're gonna send back, this is just the message that's being sent back. So you want this output from the content ideas, the second agent here. Drag that in. And then the chat ID is we're gonna grab from Telegram. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to the first Telegram trigger and then go to chat and then grab in this chat ID into the chat ID. So now we should be good. You can see it fills in a preview of what's being sent or the chat ID here. So we should be good to go. Select save up here. Then we can test the workflow. So I believe this just ran off of a test message here, but you can see here it's mini workouts for a busy schedule. Uh, it lists the content type as reels and then gives the idea here. So caption example, uh, then what you're actually doing. So showcase a uh, five minute exercise done in small space, ideally for a break during the day, the work day, I would imagine. And then, so you have Monday motivation series stories. So Instagram stories, and then share motivational quotes or success stories from clients. So, pretty effective. Uh, gives you all the different, basically all the information you would need to actually go about making these different posts. We can enter a topic. So, about Super Bowl. So once we're done actually testing it, we need to switch it from inactive to active. And now we can chat with it. So if this ever runs and you wait a couple minutes and it never responds, one thing that you can do is actually go back to N8N go to this executions tab up at the top and then this list all the executions from this agent so you can see this one's still running if it just never responds to you uh, it might have failed that's where you can go back into here so you can see it did run all the way through and sent us the message back so it gives us a great healthy day healthy game day snack alternatives a carousel post, include recipes, actionable tips, and then uh, giving food ideas, a workout challenge. Looks like that's during the game. It's pretty cool. It gives you a wide variety of things you can do. Carousel post, this one looks like a poll, uh, story highlight, and that's all about post ideas that you can do just even around the Super Bowl. Hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you got anything from this video, please leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. Have a good one.